So, no. I'd like to ask a favor of you if you're no. from our listening countries like the United States or Canada no. or Russia or UK or Mexico. Mexico, Mexico is new. Australia. Ola. Who? Poland? Ola. That's, that's Spanish. They don't speak Spanish Mexico. in Poland. Oh, oh, okay. Had me utterly confused. They don't speak Spanish in Poland. Well, I'm sure they do. There you go. That place. could be the cell line for this <laughs> show right there. <laughs> they don't speak Spanish in Poland. Dum, dum, dum. In any case, please like, subscribe, and our follow. This is True Really News. And... Uh, <laughs> Exhort your friends. Tell them they must also like, subscribe, and or follow This Is True Really News on uh, Odyssey, Podbay, Podnova, and Player FM. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. So the Bloomington, Minnesota Police Department makes the show. Ooh, close to home. Yeah. They're having the books thrown at them, if you will. Oh, come on. It's a clever play on words. I like it, but I'm confused. After calling people who take volumes from little free libraries, thieves. Missed it by that much. Well, if you take it and bring it back or That's replace how it, it works. It's yeah. like a tiny little. Anyway, well, in early July, the department posted on Twitter after some thefts from little libraries in our city. Officers and staff came together to donate a bunch of books to the little libraries. Cool. Now people can use and enjoy them again. But Fox News reported people weren't buying it. Well, no, it's a lending library. (laughs) How can you steal something that's free, officers? The BPD also tweeted that someone had been taking the books to sell for profit, which also invited scorn. As well it should. Finally, the department admitted that using the word theft maybe was a little strong, chalked it up to human error, and did what police departments seem to be doing every day now, apologize profusely. See, but the whole point of a, these people don't understand the core principle here. It's a free Son. lending library. Lending Son. means you take it and then you give it back. Yeah. What year is it? 2021. Yep. Welcome to the 21st century. So, Aren't you woke? Uh, Wake? Well, I'm I'm Wacken, Wicken, I'm, Walking. I'm weak, I think is what yeah, that would be me. Remember the pathological seagulls of Liverpool? Oh no. By the way, thanks, Patrick. This story comes from further south. Oh. Torquay. In the ocean? A seaside resort town on the English Channel, as you well know. Ah. It seems a man with a northern accent had purchased some donuts and had set them down on a seawall to answer his phone when a seagull pounced and grabbed the donut. The man grabbed the seagull by the neck and throttled it. As well he should. Holding it upside down for over a minute. The gull dropped the donut. The man continued eating the pastry while throttling the bird because well, he can do two things at once. You had the donut, man. Yeah. Passersby were dumbfounded and appalled. When the man noticed everybody staring, he said, it took my donut. Did you say it just like that? Well, I can't. I'm not sure how northern this was. If, it, if it's from the Geordie area, no, I, I, I can't do a Geordie accent at all. Uh, anyway, it took it took my donut. And he chucked the now former seagull over the wall. Only problem this guy has. Oh, no. It's illegal. You can't harm or kill seagulls. They're not endangered. It's the law. They're all over the freaking place. I know. They're like flying rats. (laughs) They're like ants at a sugar factory. (laughs) Right. Well, I think uh, the man was merely protecting his donut. (laughs) And who wouldn't? I might add. I I just think it's hilarious that he was (laughs) was throttling the thing, drops the donut, picks it up, starts eating, keeps throttling. (laughs) What amazed me is he had to throttle the thing for over a minute before it would give up the donut. (laughs) I could have held up for five, I'm pretty sure. And when I realized I was losing, I'd ate the donut anyway. Uh, A A woman from West Yorkshire, England called in sick. Because she was sick? <laughs> no, she wanted to go to the Euro semifinal soccer game in London. 
Nina Faruqi thought her company would be short staffed that day and therefore probably wouldn't let her have the day off. But when the photos of her popped up on the BBC, <laughs> why does it sound like a bad I Love Lucy episode? Really? Her employer called her and said, you know what? Take tomorrow off. <laughs> In fact, I, I didn't get any sympathy at all. And they said, that's it. We're through to the final. I'm still on that high, but I've also lost my job. <laughs> Adding, yes, I would do it all over again. Football is my life. Oh, good Lord. You know, it's funny, Patrick. Uh, Patrick sent me a story that wasn't quite, I couldn't turn it right to make a full story out of it. But basically, a guy, I think it was on the M5 motorway, uh, was uh, pulled over by police. He was watching the match while driving. Modern technology. Oh, boy. Ain't it wonderful? <laughs> COVID is a respiratory virus, right? <laughs> yep. Like you would know. I would know. <laughs> you would know. It affects the lungs and such, right? So <laughs> why is it when COVID is spreading and municipalities are locking down that people buy all the toilet paper in sight? That's going to be a mystery for the ages, my son. That's what happened in Australia a couple of weeks ago. What? Yeah, they've been doing some lockdowns because they've had some flare-ups. Dude, right? they realize they're like a year and a half behind the times? Well, they blossomed late. Oh, but, late bloomers. Yeah. So one plucky lad decided to have some fun with his patrons, and he filled the test your skill machine with toilet paper rolls. You know, it's the one that has the claw that, you know, picks up and, <laughs> and so for two bucks you get three tries to bag a bog roll uh, it, was, it was all for a laugh oh my. but in the picture i saw the machine is standing right next to the empty toilet paper shelves <laughs> now what would be useful is to have a hammer next to the machine and a sign that says in case of emergency so when we have a pandemic of some sort of disease that causes the runs, I'm guessing we'll have a run on like inhalers or nebulizers or oxygen tanks. No, I was thinking if we we're going to stay in the paper products theme, yeah, then Kleenex. Oh, that blows. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is true, really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.